I'm going to experiment today because, as some of you know, <laughs> some of you have giggled about it, I, um, starting a campfire, a cooking fire, let's just say, is not within my skill set. <laughs> I've had no luck starting a fire. I get what I think is starting and then it goes out. Unless I'm using like a, a propane torch, I just can't get it going. And I understand using a torch to get it started, but shouldn't it keep going from there? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But I went on the internet, went on to YouTube, and I saw where some people had made their own starter briquettes. Now you can buy starter briquettes. I actually have some out in the shed, and I believe the fuel is paraffin, is wax. People were using like old candles, the stubs of old candles, and they would melt the wax and they would add sawdust and use sawdust and wax to make their starters. Well, I got an idea. I have these. Now these I've made myself. I talked about these in a previous uh, video. These are paper mache briquettes. And <laughs> I did a video where I tried to explain people cooking over these things and they do work. I did use uh, a couple at a beach with a little aluminum camp stove that I bought or maybe it was stainless steel rather and I cooked over one of these. They worked actually a couple of them. They do work but I got to thinking what if I were to get some paraffin wax like this melt the wax in a little skillet and then drop a briquette into the melted wax and let it absorb the wax till it's fully absorbed with wax. Take it out, let it cool down, and then use that as a starter. Well, let's experiment. So I have some wax now melting in a cheap skillet that I bought at the store. And I have to tell you that they warn you shouldn't melt wax directly over a flame like this because if the wax overheats and starts to smoke, it could catch fire. And it's a fuel, cause a house fire. But if you stand here and watch very closely, it's, I think it should be okay. My wax has fully melted. I'm turning the heat off now because I don't want to cause any problems. And then I'm gonna take one of my paper mache briquettes and drop it into that hot wax. And you can see from the bubbles around the edge that that wax was hot. And I'm starting to see some soaking in from the edges. And I think what I'm going to do is wait until it has soaked all the way to the center and that would indicate that that briquette is thoroughly soaked with paraffin. So you can see how it's almost soaked that briquette right to the center. That took a few minutes. I'll wait for that to finish completely soaking up then I can take that out. I'm going to have enough wax it looks like in that pan to do at least another briquette. That has completed its soaking. So I'm going to lift that out. Let any wax drip off. I've got a piece of parchment paper set to the side here where I'll set that on. And then I'll do another one. And the same thing. Wait for that to completely soak up. And if I have to, if I think the wax is getting a little bit too cool, I can always bring up the flame a little bit on low just to warm it up a little bit. So there they are, two briquettes, one a little bit larger than the other, thicker than the other. Um, they're heavy now <laughs> because they're loaded with wax. So the next step now is I'm going to take these outdoors. I'll bring my other camera outside and I'm going to light one of these. I'm going to use my little butane torch because I don't have a fireplace lighter, but that little torch works well. And with my stopwatch, I'm going to time it to see how, how long one of these will burn. This is the stove that I want to use someday to cook with. So I've got my wax briquette sitting on a couple of pieces of wood. I'm going to see if I can get this started. 
There it is, it's burning. I'm gonna start my stopwatch. Look at that, that's going pretty well. And it's only beginning to burn the briquette. I turned the uh, brightness down a little bit so you could appreciate the flame. Five minutes it took for that briquette to become fully engulfed, at least on top. Don't know how much longer that's gonna burn because that has to burn down through, but so far so good. So after 15 minutes, what I began to see is less flame coming from the inner part, the center of the briquette. And now I'm seeing it come from around the outside for circumference of the briquette. And that's telling me that it's the wood that's starting to burn now. I'm going to move that briquette and see what the fire looks like underneath. All right, let's see what this looks like here. Oh no, this part of it that has yet to burn, but you can see it did set the wood on fire. But by flipping that over, I'm getting a little bit more burn out of that. So 15 to 20 minutes, I would say, is a good burn time for one of those briquettes. All right, I'm gonna move that off the wood and let that burn out. So there it is, a test of my paraffin saturated paper mache briquettes they work it burned for like 19 minutes uh, it probably will go 20 this one's a thicker one 20 if it's bigger maybe 21 22 minutes now i didn't do any cooking because i don't have anything <laughs> to cook over a grill fire but now that i think i can get a grill fire started jet going overhead um now I can start grilling outdoors, so I'm going to be doing some videos on some grilled foods. So that's my kitchen vlog for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. <laughs> it was certainly fun for me. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do, please do so. And click the like button. That helps me out.